Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 3, Episode 15 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. This is how modern guns work today. And, uh, I've done multiple firearm explanations on this channel already. So I won't bore you guys with the same explanation I've done for the third or fourth time. Okio did make a good point about tools. They're not inherently good or evil. Because I mean, it all depends on who's using it. The, the whole statement of guns kill people. Well, people kill people. Guns are the tool. You would never say that pens and pencils misspell words, right? Like, you don't blame the tool for that, you blame the person using the tool. Engineers don't have an ethics course in our curriculum like doctors do, and it doesn't matter if you went to MIT or a community college for... It really makes no difference. I took one class where we wrote some bullshit essays, everybody got a 4.0 just for showing up, nobody, including the professor, took it seriously. Part of the reason for that is that you will never be asked an ethics question in a job interview. At least, at least I never have, none of my colleagues have, I don't know anybody who has. Really, all they care about your prospective employer is can you do the tasks that are assigned to you. They really don't care how you feel about it, because that's not what the job entails. Whether you want to make iPhones or missiles, firearms or baby bottles, right? They all require engineers. It's up to the person to d debate their own morals with their own company because like n nobody applies to work for like a military defense contract thinking, I don't know how I feel about war. Well, you don't need an ethics course for that, right? Just use some common sense. What do you think you're getting yourself into? And likewise, I would say the same thing about if you're not a fan of social media companies and you're an engineer, maybe you shouldn't work for Facebook, <laughs> right? Maybe, although in terms of pure ethics, it's not a concern of the employer how you feel about their product. I mean, optimally they would want you to, they would want your goals to align with the company's goals. But I'll just tell you right now they really don't care. <laughs> and that's okay, they don't have to. It, it really is just up to the person themselves. The actual ethics behind it like they, they don't really teach you how to make that correct decision. They just kind of leave it up to the engineer to make that choice. <laughs> <laughs> Why is his eye covered after they use the regeneration potion on him? Do they have to, I feel like I asked that question before, but I can't recall the answer. Do they have to put a little bit more to get rid of that uh, section on his eye? Because... Yeah, why wouldn't I know that Senku had a small uh, little piece behind the, in the back of his neck, and perhaps I missed it. Maybe if anyone in the comments can just let me know why doesn't the revival fluid affect all petrified parts of this person? Why is for certain people they have segments and like how 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 does that work and why does that happen? I don't know if they ever revealed that, but uh, let me know. Comment below. <laughs> The word wire is commonly associated with electricity. You know, you would never say fishing wire, it's fishing line. Carbon wire is used for the implementations where apex strength, stiffness, and wear resistance is going to be mandatory. For example, conveyor belts or push-pull cables that you would often see on gym equipment. Uh, I mean, strands for ropes, the Senku was doing, things of that nature. Carbon wire is not ever the first choice as a conductor of electricity. I mean, the more accurate name for this is a carbon line. That is how I think traditional analog controllers have worked. The technology has advanced a, a bit since this point, but yeah, you can use uh, variable resistors, which as the name suggests, I mean, or another word for them, for people who actually study engineering, if you ever look at your exam or homework and it's called R underscore POT or R pot, 
that's just your potential resistance and generally in the real world it's associated with uh, devices like this where yeah, if, as you move a magnet back and forth in between a coil of wires that will affect the resistance because that movement is what's going to impact the uh, induced magnetic field on that coil and that is going to change your resistance and that's that's a pretty big one right but you, you've got to work with larger areas in the stone world he doesn't have the most precise tools to create smaller things but that's fine this is really cool and also the fact that it's wired means that the movements will be a lot more responsive to the controller senku has the capacity to make this thing wireless <laughs> it would be a lot worse the lag would be so bad on this thing and they need it to be perfect which is the same reason why ethernet will always be faster than wi-fi you'll have significantly less uh, response time versus if you're going to do a wireless signal then you first it has the signal has to be sent received processed into a command and then you act on it and that's where the lag comes from it's the the amount of time that it takes for a wireless uh, signal to be sent picked up by a receiver processed into a command and then executed versus if it's a wired connection, the amount of time that it takes is almost negligible because it just goes straight to the source. Wireless is also subject to interference, which won't be a problem here. Senku is the only is the only one that has electricity in the world. That is a really crazy thing to even think about. Shielding a wire is a common method used today that creates a Faraday cage around the wire bundle, and it prevents signal interference, which is another reason why wired would be preferred to wireless. The drawbacks are obvious, right? Wireless means that you can be in any position, anywhere. Wired means you are confined to the length of the wire. And as in most cases, if you have multiple cables, then your constraint is the length of the shortest cable. I'm going to jump to episode 20 for a second here, just because I've seen 16 through, well, 20, and there's not a lot of science for me to talk about or technology to discuss, except for what I found in this segment here. Korada. それってバーサス Parabolic antenna is named such because the antenna uses a parabolic surface which is curved to direct radio waves. The advantage here being all of your power is concentrated into a very narrow area along the antenna's axis, meaning you can't go as wide but you can go pretty far. And these are commonly used for satellite communication or any sort of long range function. On US Navy ships there's a parabolic antenna that's just spinning 24-7 and that way you have very long distance and you also have your signal going very, very much in that one direction. So it's a very effective method. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you all the best rest of your day.